Okay guys, remember old taco hood here? Well, tonight we're going to be replacing the 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 what? We're going to be replacing the hood hinges and the springs. So stay tuned. <laughs> Here are brand new hinges from Summit Racing and brand new springs from Rock Auto. I decided to go with the original route of just the standard stock springs and hinges. And I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to go to uh, wham rods and uh, install those in the truck. And you know, someday I just might. And wham rods, if you're watching, if you want to sponsor me, I'd gladly take a set. Oh, I'm not very good at begging people for stuff. So what we're going to do tonight is uh, we got to get the hood off. I've got Junior here to give me a hand with that. And uh, we're going to replace the uh, hinge first, and then we'll get the spring on it. And we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get the hood off. Okay, so now that we got the hood kind of sitting up here on the roof, it's time to get these old hinges off. And as you can see, it's pretty well wore out. So, we are going to uh, take our 9 16ths and undo the three bolts that hold it on there. And then we can put the new ones back on. So let's do that. Alright, so here is the old hinge and spring setup and this is the new one. You look at the two of them and they're pretty much identical even though these are made in Taiwan, these are probably made in like Kenosha, Wisconsin or something like that. The, the Kenosha kickers? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna get the, the new springs, or the new hinges, put in place first and then we're gonna pry our springs into place before we go and add the hood back on. So. 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 so, now all we're going to do is we're going to uh, mount these back in the same position that these ones were. And you'll note that on the actual hinge itself, you can see that the bolt that held it in there on the adjustable part was all the way up. We're going to start in that position, and if it ends up being any different, we can always adjust it once the hood is on there after the fact to make all of our gaps line up here on the sides as well as on that side and hopefully when everything's all said and done we'll have no gaps on either side of the hood so let's get these new ones put on and uh, we'll see how easy the install goes by getting the hood back on Okay, so now what we've got to try and do is get this spring mounted on that hook and this one to give it tension. And according to Jeff Ford over at Auto Resto Mod, he says all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and you should be all right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start by getting one end of this spring hooked in like so. And then all we're going to do is pry this one down over that spring and hopefully we can do this without losing a finger just like that so all we're gonna do head over to the other side get it done all ten fingers and toes whatever intact so let's do that so if you're wondering what the part numbers are for the coil springs here uh, they are GMK41 Four four two one one seven three. I'll put them in the link in the description box below. Uh, from Rock Auto was the uh, cheapest place I could find them. They were about eighteen bucks a piece. And these hinges, I don't know the uh, part number off the top of my head, but if you want to go to the description box down below, I'll have them linked there uh, as well. So let's get this one put on. So 
just like that, we've got uh, two hinges, two new springs. Now we just got to get that hood put back on and hopefully get it lined up on the first shot when I'm friggin' around with gaps and stuff like that. So uh, let's get the camera set up and Jimmy and I are going to see if we can get this put back together. See if we can do this and uh, not kill ourselves or break an arm. Yeah. Try it anyway. So as Junior finishes tightening that side up, we're going to get ready to put this down for the first time. And we're going to find out a couple of things. One is just how easy or hard the uh, hood closes this time around. And one thing we're not going to want to forget to do is to make sure that we oil or spray something on those pivot points on that new hinge because we actually do want this in to last another 40 plus years. And uh, we're going to keep this one oiled up really good. One of the things that a lot of people do try and do, and I think I explained this in the other video, was when they go to pull down the hinge, they just want to pull it down. Well, if you don't understand how hinges on cars operate, they're just not a single pivot like so. They've actually got to kind of go down and slide, I mean not slide, but go down and in. So uh, when I go to close this hood, I want to not just pull down, but I also want to be pushing in at the same time. Like a stiff hood. So as you can see over here, we got quite a tight gap there and it spaces out the further up we go. And as we come over here, we got a huge gap on this side and it narrows up at the back. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and take the hood just as it is now with those hinges not super, super tight. We're gonna give her a yank to one side to see if we can't get that to move a little bit to help line these hin uh, hinges up a little bit better. I guess we're gonna mess around with getting this hood lined up and we'll come back to you once we've got everything perfected. Okay, so Junior and I have got the hood all lined up the way it should be. We'll show you what that looks like here in just a second, but I am going to lube up the uh, hinges with some uh, penetrating fluid for now. Uh, we'll go back over it with a better lubricant. Uh, I'm using the old trusted Lefty Lucy, again, not to be confused with Righty Tighty, which is the thread lock stuff. No, it's not. Lefty Lucy, Righty Tighty. Anyways. We're going to get this sprayed down and uh, then we'll close the hood and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our hood lined up, not just with the gap going the whole way up here, but we've also got the hood lined up with the front of the fender so that it's nice and flush this way. We come over to this side and same thing, we've got the uh, hood lined up with the fender and as we kind of look down the seam here, the gap is looking really, really good. Now. One of the things that you will notice is that the... It's taco! TACO! The huge kind of point that used to be there where this hood was bending is pretty much gone. Because of the strength of the new uh, hood hinges, it is still up a little bit right here. You know, we can kind of push down on that a little bit, but I'm sure that'll work in once those hinges get a little bit of wear. Uh, but that looks a heck of a lot better than it did when we first started this project. If you guys haven't seen that first video with the uh, taco hood, I'm going to link it right up here so you guys can go take a look at that. And uh, it's pretty interesting to know what I had to do to get it to this point before we replaced the hinges. And now that we've got the hinges on there, that uh, we've got these body lines actually worked uh, pretty good. Now, one of the things that I just got done telling Junior is we'll never be able to fix that uh, little ripple that's right here on the hood because once it's tweaked, it's tweaked. Tweakers maybe? Maybe. A little early in the morning for tweakers. Tweakers don't sleep. They just tweak. We just made it look a little more presentable. And uh, hopefully this kind of gave you a little bit of insight on if you've got a patina truck that you want to keep the original paint or the patina and you don't want to go just simply replacing the brand new hood, this is an option for you. Hopefully you guys can uh, learn something from this. If not, you were entertained while you were watching. So. Anyways, give us a few minutes, we're going to clean up our tools and we'll close out this video. And there you have it, that's how we install hood hinges and springs on a square body truck to help prevent taco hood. Anyways, uh, 
that's going to do it for this video. There's a couple of things that I want to remind you guys of, and one of them is the Car Guy and Six Fan Show happening every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern. This coming week, it'll be on my channel, and we do have a guest you're not going to want to miss out on it. Last week, or last night, we had Weird Beard from Weird Beard Auto Sales on YouTube, and I tell you what, it was a great show. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it right up here so you guys can go back and check it out. That is a show that my co-host, Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan, his link is the first one in the description box. Go over, check out his channel because when he hosts it, he's giving away some prizes. When I host it, I'm giving away some prizes. What's he giving away? Well, go over to his channel and find out. When I host it, we're giving away an opportunity for you to win a Forever Sharp steering wheel. Can't beat that. That draw will take place in April at our award show. You're not going to want to miss that. So tune into the Car Guy and Six Fan Show every Thursday evening, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, and every other week I host it. The other thing that Grant and I are doing in collaboration with Corey from Craving Cars and Ryan from Boost Rodeo is the Solo B-Roll Challenge 2021. We did it last year. You guys enjoyed it. And there's a lot more of you who want to get in on that action. And again, there's a prize for the best video, which the four of us will be judging. So if you're interested in the solo B-roll challenge, drop one of us a line, let us know that you're going to be entering so that we can expect uh, an entry from you. The deadline is March the 7th. It has to be submitted, uploaded to YouTube no later than midnight that day in order to qualify. Those rules will be in the description box below as well as I'll have something over here on the side for you guys to read just as I'm talking. That's going to do it for this episode. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.